Hi everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and overview and some benchmarks on this SSD from Corsair. This is the Corsair Accelerator Series 60GB SSD cache drive. So you might be asking yourself what is a cache drive SSD and uh, the answer is well this is one but let me tell you exactly uh, how a cache drive works and what decisions Corsair has made with this particular one to make sure that it will work for your purposes. First off, it is SATA Revision 2. So if you have, for instance, a slightly older motherboard has SATA Revision 2, not SATA Revision 3, uh, it will work with that. Of course, it is also backwards with uh, compatible with SATA Revision 1, but best to use this only if you have a SATA Rev 2 port available on your motherboard. Uh, just to go over everything else that comes in the box, you get an accelerator quick start guide, which will walk you through the installation process in multiple languages. It is uh, not too tough. They go over very detailed what is a serial ATA cable as well as the power cable, plugging that in, and then also getting the special code off of your drive because you will need that in order to get the software that goes along with it. Apart from that, you also get a 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch drive, adapt drive bay adapter converter, so you can mount your SSD to that and then mount that uh, bracket there into a 3.5 inch drive bay within your computer case. Here is the SSD itself and uh, the only other accessories which are mounting screws, which I'm hopefully not losing, right here, uh, which you can use to mount your drive to that bracket and mount the bracket to your case. Finally, here is the SSD itself. As you can see, it's a 2.5 inch form factor drive, uh, so what you're going to do is install this in your computer and it's made to be an add-on SSD that you can use in tandem with your existing mechanical hard drive. So your existing mechanical hard drive right now already has, for instance, your Windows installation on it. You're already running your operating system. It's set up, it's good to go. And maybe you want to upgrade to an SSD, but for example, SSDs can be expensive and SSDs don't always necessarily have the capacity that you get with a mechanical hard drive like this one right here. So when you use an SSD as a cache drive, it's supplemental. Uh, when your Windows operating Windows operating system sees both the drives as the same drive. You don't necessarily see a separate SSD and the drive. And what it does is it takes important frequently used data from your mechanical hard drive, it uh, stores it on the SSD, and then it tells the operating system to go and retrieve that information from the SSD instead of the mechanical hard drive, which is much, much faster. The SSD is much, much faster. Uh, apart from that, this SSD uh, uses an SF2181 uh, Sandforce controller inside there to control the NAND flash memory. It uses MLC NAND flash memory, and the SSD uh, alone is capable of up to 280 megabytes per second sequential read speeds and up to 270 megabytes sequential write speeds. Write speeds. What I've done is uh, installed Windows 7 on our test bed, and uh, I did a basic installation on a mechanical hard drive, a Seagate 7200 RPM Barracuda mechanical hard drive. And what I'm going to do now is install the SSD on top of that and uh, run some benchmark comparisons between the two to see what kind of performance increase we get. So here we are over at our test bed, and just to let you guys know, we're using a Sabertooth X79 motherboard from Corsair, and we're connecting both the SSD and the uh, mechanical hard drive that we're booting off of to the integrated uh, serial ATA controller in the X, from the X79 chipset. So a couple things. First off is installation. So um, if you are running this for the first time, uh, you'll basically go to Corsair.com slash accelerator dash software dot com and it will prompt you to download the Dataplex software that they use for the cache drive. So you need to register. Uh, you actually enter your name and your email address and then on the back of the drive itself which I've covered over there, is a license key. So uh, you want to write that down before you, before you install the drive, plug it in there, and that will take you to download the software. And once you download it, you start to run it. I just did some screen caps of that. Uh, it prompts you to enter that code. Uh, it automatically recognizes the accelerator SSD. You don't need to format it using Windows or anything like that. Pops up both, so it will tell you your target drive, that being your boot drive right there. Here we can see 93.1 gigabyte formatted uh, Seagate hard drive, and then our cache drive being our Corsair Accelerator uh, SCSI disk 55.9 gigabytes formatted. And then it'll go through and install the Dataplex software, and then it's done. It's very simple um, to set up, I will say, right out of the box, especially if you're uh, running with an existing Windows 7 installation. By the way, I do need Windows 7 in order to use this software. Uh, next up, oops, I closed my window. 
Next up, we have some comparison benchmarks. So uh, first off is Crystal Disk Mark, and this is just Crystal Disk Mark run on the mechanical hard drive by itself. So there you can see the numbers that our mechanical drive gets, uh, 113 megabytes per second sequential reads, 102.5 megabytes per second sequential writes, and then our 4K reads and writes down there uh, running at the 0 0.3, 0 0.9 megabytes per second mark. So um, pretty standard numbers here for a mechanical hard drive. Um, Input-output operations per second never got above the 250, 257.3 was the most we saw there. Um, so again, this is what a lot of people run them with at home if they've got a basic mechanical hard drive. Now, if we want to pull up the comparison here, uh, we actually ran Crystal Disk Mark three times. I wanted to see if the caching was going to improve it over time. So there we can see between the two uh, how much more speed you get out of the SSD compared to the mechanical hard drive. Uh, our Sequential reads jumped up to 200 from 113. Sequential writes jumped, actually dropped down to 82 uh, from 102, and that's because when it's writing the data, it's writing it to the cache drive. Now, if we go down here to the 4K reads and writes, and this is one of the biggest jumps uh, that an SSD gives you as compared to a mechanical hard drive. 4K reads and writes are going to give you much more responsiveness uh, as you're opening and closing programs and doing your typical day-to-day -day, uh, computer use. Down here, you'll see input-output operations per second for that test. And as you can see, we hit uh, just shy of 20,000 input-output operations per second on the random write 4K test. And that is just massively Im a huge improvement over the mechanical hard drive, which didn't get over 300. And we jumped up to the 10,000 plus range. Uh, now, I also ran a uh, compressible version of this benchmark of Crystal Disk Mark, um, which the Sandforce controller actually excels at as uh, compression. So here we can see uh, the 262 megabytes per second sequential writes, or sequential reads, excuse me, 229 megabytes per second sequential writes. And in this test, our input output operations per second jumped up to 45,739 at their maximum point. So there's a Crystal Disk Mark for you. Oh, I should mention when I uh, ran the test, uh, multiple times, there's one, two, and three. Uh, not much performance here. So it's actually doing the caching on the fly the first time, and at least for in operating system uh, type use, you're not seeing a whole lot of difference uh, running things multiple times. So the caching works quickly, is what we can derive from that. Here is AS SSD, which is a uh, SSD specific benchmark. And uh, if you want to wait a long time, just try running this test on a mechanical hard drive. It takes a long time. Uh, here you can see a very distinct raw score difference here. So our mechanical hard drive by itself up here on the top scored 14 on read, 14 on write, and 36 overall. Our SSD scored 87 and 90 on the read and write respectively and 222 overall. And uh, for reads and writes here again, you can see similar numbers to the uh, mechanical hard drive. Now one big, big advantage that uh, the SSD has over a mechanical hard drive is access time, and here access time for the mechanical is 15.1 milliseconds and 3.2 milliseconds. And uh, on sequential, I'm sorry, on uh, write access time, we saw that drop down to 0 0.2 milliseconds for the SSD. Finally, we have Atto here, which is a popular uh, disk benchmarking utility. It's been around for quite some time. Ran this at QDepth 4, which is a default setting. And uh, here again, we can see the comparison between the two. So the uh, run with the mechanical hard drive only is on the left, with the SSD is on the right. And here we can see some of the uh, numbers similar to what is printed on the box. Uh, for a sequential read, uh, we got up upwards of 280 megabytes per second here uh, for the SSD. Uh, our mechanical hard drive alone only hit up to about uh, just shy of 130 megabytes per second overall. And that's going to wrap it up for this video. Once again, this has been the Corsair Accelerator Series 60 gigabyte SSD cache drive. I'm Paul with Newegg TV, and if you enjoyed today's video, please head over to our Newegg YouTube channel, and don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.